It's always great to see professional athletes giving back, and tonight is a perfect example because Rashad Jennings of the New York Giants and his foundation are giving back through a night of comedy tonight at Gotham Comedy Club. Get ready for a great night behind the velvet rope. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. Exciting night for you tonight, Rashad Jennings. Night of comedy, man, for your foundation. So first of all, talk to me about your foundation, the work you guys are doing. Uh, man, I'm so proud uh, to be a part. And, um, you know, our foundation team is doing so much. You know, uh, first and foremost, we started it uh, two years ago, and one of the first projects we started was a reading challenge, which has been phenomenal. We've had over 200,000 books read because of it. Awesome. Um, and then tonight we get an opportunity to, la uh, to launch something that's really endearing to my heart, which is the Locker Room Project. Uh, being a professional athlete, being in the locker room, uh, and truly understanding there's nothing special about us, just our position. Um, you know, we get to unmask ourselves and magnify what's truly important, and mentorship is something that's needed, um, especially for the youth coming up. And this is a, a, a way and an opportunity in the program that allows professional athletes to give back directly to the community without taking that much of their time. So this is something that I'm excited to launch. Why comedy? Why'd you decide to do it at Gotham? And get, you got some great people coming, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited, man. You know, laughter is a medicine that, that, that heals. And it's, it's a universal language. We all understand it. Um, it opens us up. And when you share laughter, you share a piece of who you are. And I, I believe, if, you know, through the foundation, we want everybody involved to share who they are. And um, I thought laughter would be a good way to raise money and um, connect with the people that we're going to be working with. What are you doing here, Ashanti? <laughs> I think it's a really cool event. I was invited by my good friend, Dr. Oz. They told us about it. And um, anytime I'm able to support New Yorkers, New York sports and teams, it's a good thing. And there's nothing better to support than the New York Giants. <laughs> That's why we're shot. I'm like, we need to get some W's on this. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So you're always a busy woman. What's going on in the world of Ashanti? Um, a little bit of everything. I'm actually doing an amazing campaign with Michelle Obama called Drink Up. Um, we're just encouraging people to drink more water. I did a song called Let's Go to help the campaign. And basically, the song starts out dehydrated so you can't really hear it. And as people tweet hashtag Drink Up Ashanti, it starts to become more and more vibrant. And the same with the video. We shot a video, dehydrated, so the more and more you tweet, hashtag drink up Ashanti, the video becomes more and more vibrant. Kind of like when you drink water, your body becomes more and more hydrated. You're a Giants fan, Dr. Oz, I'm guessing. You're definitely a Rashad Jennings fan. I'm definitely a Rashad yeah. Jennings fan. I do like the Giants a lot. You know, I grew up in Philadelphia, so I still like the Beagles. <laughs> That's what I'm, we call them. I'm a Philly guy as well, but I'm not an Eagle. <laughs> I'm actually a Giants fan. So talk to me about being here to support Rashad. He's got a great foundation here. I've had Rashad on the show. Uh, the more you know about Rashad, the more you realize what a special person he is. And I love the fact that it, he took a problem he had. He, he had an issue reading, which he had difficulty doing. He just confided to me that he repeated 11th grade, which is a, that's wonderful to hear that he can do that and be proud of what you'll be able to accomplish. And the fact that he can take stinky locker room wear and get kids to read as a payment for it is just brilliant. You took something that literally was refuse in the trash and you're changing kids' lives for the better. It makes, I get goosebumps thinking about it. A superstar back there. Running back supporting another running back tonight. Talk to me about being here to support your teammate, Rashad Jennings, Andre. You know, Rashad Jennings is my big brother. Uh, you know, I love what he's doing here. I love where his mind is at. You know, he wants to give back to the kids and he's doing it in a way that is different. You know, Rashad is a different kind of guy, so. Um, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how we put this thing together. And, you know, I'm just glad I'm out here able to support. Being a giant and being able to give back in this community, what does it mean to you? It means a lot. You know, uh, I remember as a kid, I, I didn't have the opportunities uh, that, you know, a lot of these people are having now. You know, to have to go out and see NFL players, to go out and see, you know, celebrities and other athletes all around the world. And so, uh, you know, to be that guy right now and, you know, be out there and have the opportunity to help Rashad, it definitely means a lot. You know, I'll do whatever I can. You're here supporting Rashad Jennings. Talk to me about right. your friendship. How did that happen? Well, Rashad obviously is, is a young man that looks back and says, how can I help others? And uh, I feel the same way. I've got a nonprofit foundation, the Haley's Comet Foundation that caters to at-risk youth. 
teaches him not just how to sail and to interact with other kids from, from different neighborhoods and different parts of the world, but also uh, teaches these young people about the career opportunities that exist in the maritime industry. And so his philanthropic uh, character comes through and that's what attracted me to develop a relationship with him and to be supportive of his foundation and the work that he's doing with young people.